Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number six from the June 2024 International A Level LXL Pure Mathematics P3 paper. And here we have this question which tells us about a sketch of part of the curve with the equation y equals the square root of 4x minus 7. And the line L shown in figure 3 is a normal to the curve at the point P, 8, 5. Use calculus to show that the equation of line L is 5x plus 2y minus 50 equals 0. So I've got a little, you know, copy of this graph over here so we can look at it a bit more clearly. So we got the point P here, which is uh, 8, 5. And the normal to a curve is basically perpendicular to the tangent to the curve at that point. So if we draw a line like this, which is a tangent to the curve at P, then the normal to the curve has is basically perpendicular to it. So this is the tangent and this is the normal. Okay, so the gradient of the normal and the gradient of the tangent are perpendicular to each other. They are basically negative reciprocals of each other. If you multiply the gradient of the normal tangent, you will end up with minus 1. So basically, we need to find the equation of this straight line, which is the normal. The equation of a straight line can be found by using or finding uh, two pieces of information we need. If we get those two pieces of information, we can uh, find the equation of that straight line. One of the equal parts of that we need is we need to know a point on the line which we have, which is A5. And the second thing which you need to know is the gradient. So we need to have the gradient of line L. Okay. Now, to find the gradient, what we need to do is we need to find the gradient at P. The gradient of the line at P. All right. That the gradient of the curve at P and the gradient of the line um, L will be related to each other because they're negative reciprocal. Okay, so I need to find the gradient at P. So I need to find um, dy dx at the point P. So we know y is equal to, if you write this in the form which is conducive for differentiating, because we have to basically find um, dy dx, so we're going to write this in terms of an index form, and we know that the square root of something is the same as that thing to the power of a half. So we can now differentiate this using the chain rule because you have a function inside a function. So you multiply by the power because it's the type of polynomial type of function which is differentiated by multiplying by the power. So you have a half times 4x minus 7 and then multiplying by the differential of what's inside. So you multiply by the differential of 4x minus 7 which is 4. So you end up with um, 4 times a half which is 2 times 4x and this is the power of negative a half, sorry. 4, 2 times 4x minus 7 to the power of negative a half. So we multiplied by the power. We took 1 from the power because a half minus 1 is minus a half. And then we multiplied by the differential was inside the function. So this gives us something in uh, we can write in this form. 2 over the square root of 4x minus 7. Let's write that a bit neater. 2 over the square root of 4x minus 7. That's dy dx okay and um, what have i done here we know that a to the power of negative n is the same as one over a to the power of n and then we know to the power of half is square root so just the opposite of this so now we can find what the gradient of the tangent is okay the gradient of the tangent is uh, basically uh, when you put inside inside here you put when x equals eight you got dy dx is equal to 2 over the square root of 4 times 8, which is 32, minus 7, which is 25. So that's going to give you 2 over 5. 2 over 5. So that is a gradient of the um, tangent. So therefore, the gradient of the normal at the point P is going to be equal to minus 5 over 2. It's a negative reciprocal of this. So now we have the gradient is minus 5 over 2 and we have the uh, coordinates of the point so we can use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 that's far easier to use in, in a case like this so you have y minus and we have the point remember it was 8 5 so y minus 5 equals m which is minus 5 over 2 times x minus 8 
multiply both sides by 2, you have 2y minus 10 equals minus 5x plus 40. And we want to express it in the form here where everything says equals 0. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just add 5x to both sides. So I have 5x plus 2y and I have minus 10 and I have minus 40, which is minus 50, is equal to 0. Okay, and that's the answer. 5x plus 2y minus 50 equals 0. That's exactly what we had to show. And there is the answer to part A. Okay, pretty standard type of question. Um, it's just using the chain rule to differentiate this 4x minus 7 to power half. This is a typical type of question that could appear in P2, in fact. Um, and even P1, but it's the difference is the differentiation of this is something which is a P3 type of differentiation. All right, so there's the answer to 6a. Now, 6b is related to integration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save 6b on a separate video from 6a. Okay, 6b, 6a is like more to do with differentiation, 6b to do with integration. So 6b I will save as a separate video, um, which you'll find in the playlist for this paper, which should be found at the end of the video at the top right of the screen. At the bottom right of the screen here, you'll find um, the playlist dealing with differentiation of uh, P3, and you'll have a playlist here in specific. It will be about differentiation using the chain rule, which this is kind of like related to. And on the top here, you'll find a link to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Um, thank you for watching and see you soon.